Yo, what's up guys? It's Dro here. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys my overall review of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Since it has been a couple of months into the game, I want to tell you guys my opinions and my thoughts on the game. I think, I think the game, the game is fun, don't get me wrong, but it does have its flaws. For one, the spawns and the maps are like complete garbage. Like the worst that we've ever had in any Call of Duty, ever. Straight garbage. The maps and spawns are terrible in this game. That is one thing I cannot stand. These maps are garbage. Terrible. So we literally have like four maps that are good. The rest are unplayable. Next thing I want to talk about in the game is the weapon balance. The M4 and the MP5 are really like the only usable guns to use in the game right now. If you use like a kilo, maybe you can get away with it. If the other person that you're shooting at isn't that good. But you will be able to get a couple of kills here and there if you're not using the M4 and the MP5. But overall, those two guns just completely dominate the game. The M4 is literally the best gun in the game. Like you literally kill people so fast with the M4 it's not even funny. Like and if you get a headshot with the M4, you're immediately gonna kill that person or you're gonna immediately die if somebody hits you with a headshot and you're not paying attention. On the other hand, the MP5 is really good too. Strongest SMG in the game, by far, hands down. The only SMG you would ever want to use, probably, if you're playing competitive or something like that. There's other good SMGs too, like the P90s, alright, it's pretty good. Uh, personally, I like to use the PP19, I think it's pretty good. But that's just me, I use it when I'm playing like, like, you know, fast paced game modes like Shipman or Domination or stuff like that. Other than that, I'm just using the M4. The MP5 or the sniper, either of those. Unless if I'm trolling and I want to have fun, then I'm gonna use the right shield with the 725 shotgun. In my opinion, the 725 shotgun is still like overpowered. It's still the best shotgun in the game by far. They may have nerfed it, but it's still it's still so powerful. PP19 is good in my opinion, but that's for other people. Other people can think differently from me. Another thing I want to talk about in the game. It's ground war. Ground war is literally hectic. It's fun, but it's so hectic. Like, if you're if you're playing Krovnik farm, and then you have the bad spawns, you're literally gonna. If you're playing a good team, you're literally not gonna be able to move from your spawn. You will literally get clapped if you try to move from your spawn, and the other team has a sniper, and they're on that one flag site where you can get on top of like that little roof. Yeah, it's over for Kr for Krovnik farmland. If you're on that bad spawn, you might as well just leave the game. But I think I think ground war is fun. There's other things too about ground war that are eh, a little bit iffy, like the underground, the, under, the underground stuff in um, what's that map called? That big map. It's like a city. I don't know. I forgot what it was called. But you can literally get under that map so easy. It's this game is honestly. That's one bad thing about this game. Just all the little glitches and stuff are annoying in this game. You know, like the peeking. You know, all that bad stuff. You know, like how are you gonna peek and then somebody's gonna be able to see like your full shoulders and body and you can't even see them. That's a bad thing I don't like about the game. There's so many like little glitches in this game. And it's just so irritating because this game has so much potential because the gameplay is so smooth. The gameplay mechanics are so smooth. Honestly like one of the best gameplay mechanics we've ever seen probably. Comparable to like maybe Call of Duty Ghost. The gameplay is smooth. The guns feel great. Everything about the game is great. So much potential. I just feel like if they really like, if they really cared about the community, they would listen to us and literally make this game like one of the greatest Call of Duty games ever. Probably like the, a top five game. It has that potential. Except the devs do not care about us whatsoever. They literally just care about their money, money, money. That's all they care about. Like, they do not listen to community whatsoever. They don't address skill-based matchmaking, none of that. That's another thing I want to talk about, skill-based matchmaking. You hate it, you hate it, and you hate it. There's nothing fun about going against sweaty char level 155s all day if you're a good player. Like, that's just not fun. 
Like, there's times where I want to just get on, you know, play for like a 45 to an hour, and then just clap kids that are level 50, level 50, level 55, you know. I just want to have fun sometimes, and I go up against a full team of level 155s using M4s or like sniper overkills or something like that, you know. Sometimes I just want to have fun, you know. But you're not going to get that with this game because you're going to be, because as, as you progress and get better at the game, you're going to keep on playing and facing better people at the game. Like, if you start off the game, you know, say you get like a .90 KD, you're going to be playing against players that have like .90s, .95 KDs, and you know, if you get better, you know, get your KD up to like a 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 then you're going to play against kids that are 1.5, 1.4 KDs, you know. And then if you get any higher to me, I'm like a 2.4, 2.5 KD guy. I'm constantly playing try hard sweaty kids that are in game chat just yelling at each other because they're not calling out or you know they're not doing no MLG MLG plays you know and that's not fun sometimes because I sometimes I don't have fun like start to snipe or sometimes I just want to use a shotgun with a shield and I can't have fun because there's people on another team constantly using M4s with claymores and C4s and overkill like I don't think that that should be in the game honestly and if it should I think they should create a different playlist for skill based matchmaking players, like people that want to go up against other sweaty players, they should have a different playlist, like rank player, league player, something. Last thing I want to talk about was why don't we have more classes than just the standard five? I don't get that. Like, yeah, they said they're gonna put it in, but why don't don't you have it at launch? Like, how are they gonna do it? Are they gonna make us pay for it? Because if they do, I'm not gonna buy it. And honestly, I'm gonna sue. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I don't know why they don't have it in. But that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and share the video. Peace out, you guys. See you guys in the next one.